Hi friends, welcome back. I'm glad to see everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. I uh, I worked this weekend, but um, I had today off. So guess where I went? <laughs> well, I did go thrifting. Uh, before I went thrifting, however, I spent a couple hours at the hospital with my boyfriend. Um, his dad's in ICU and he's going to be 87 years old. So um, he's not doing too well. So I was hoping that the Thrill of the Thrift family, if you guys wouldn't mind um, doing a shout out to God up there and uh, ask him to bless my boyfriend's father. Uh, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Alrighty, enough said stuff. I got some pretty cool finds. This is a small haul compared to what I normally do. Um, but let's get into it. I did um, stop at the Goodwill and Fuller's Flea Market. So I guess I'll do, I will do Goodwill first. Um, and of course, I forgot the receipt. Let me see if it's in my purse here. I don't remember what I spent. Yep, here it is. All right. Put my purse down. I love my thrifted purse, guys. I get a lot of compliments on it. Not bad for four bucks. Okay, so today I spent $23.09. I just can't seem to get out of there spending less than $20, but we all know why that is. Okay. So blue tag was half price today. I picked this adorable snowman and Christmas tree sign. I love it. Look at the sparkles, guys. It is so glittery. And that was blue tag half price, so I paid $1.70 for that. I've been waiting for this particular item to go on sale, and it finally did. It's a Precious Moments Cross for a child's room. This will be put away, and y'all know I love my Precious Moments. This was half price for $1.70. Look how pretty that is. Just gorgeous. I love that. Jesus loves me. <laughs> Picked up this really cool coffee jar. This was half price for $1.70. I think this is so cool. It's got the cork on the lid. I think somebody put the cork on there. They must have lost a little rubber thing on there, but you know what? It works. And I don't know if there's, if it says anything on the, I can't get the sticker off, but anyway. I just thought that was awesome. I'm going to put this on my counter. I love it. Love it. All right. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. I, if it was, I think it might have been my last haul. I picked up two Longa Burger coffee mugs. They sell for $20 a pair. And they were in like a butternut squash color. I found two more today, and these were on sale. I paid $2.70 for the pair, and they're in excellent condition. No chips, no utensil marks, nothing. So I'm going to get these listed along with the other ones. Actually, I might um, incorporate these with the other ones and sell them as a set of four. So, yes, that was a good find today. Um, I did some decorating for Easter yesterday, last night actually, when I after I came home from work. And I, as I was putting everything out, I was like, wow, I could have sworn I had more Easter stuff than this. But apparently I did not. So I bought a few more things today, Easter items. Um, these were all half price, well, Wait a minute, was this? Yes, I got one Easter item. 
<laughs> at the at the Goodwill. I paid a dollar um seventy for this. He's this is a someone made in ceramics. Very cute. I love it. It has the initials on the bottom. M I F. I don't know, but it's very cute. Boo! <laughs> yep, you know me and my holiday decor. This was $1.70. I could not pass it up. I absolutely love it. Uh, I don't know if it was... It looks like it was made by someone in ceramics. But I didn't see any initials or anything on the bottom. So that was very cool. I, I've been waiting for this to go on sale too, because you know my rustic farmhouse uh, style. I think this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's a little creepy, but he's cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just think it's really, really cool. A farmhouse snowman with his chickens and his sheep. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Oh, and the crows have taken a liking to him as well. So this I paid, this was half price. I paid $1.74 as well. I, I like him. I think he's cute. Um, I think... Yeah, that is all I got at the Goodwill. Oh, no, I got, I'm sorry. You know, I never, ever remember everything. At least I didn't have to do a voiceover this time. <laughs> I got, I bought this bag of salt and pepper shakers. I paid $3.49 for it. I tried to get them to go down in price because one of the, uh, cats in here the tail broke off of but they would not budge but I got it anyway because I'm going to keep the cat salt and pepper shakers and I'll just glue the tail back on but let me pull these out and show you guys um this I will probably redonate it's just a little white kitty um but that's not what I bought it for all right so this is from these this is the one with the broken tail, but the tail is in here. Let me show you the one without the broken tail, but this one's different. This one's just a statue, or a, yeah, Siamese cat. I thought at first it was a salt and pepper shaker, but it's not. It's just a figurine. Okay, so here is the, well, there's two pieces of his tail that broke off. And this, this is a figurine as well. There are salt and pepper shakers in here, though. Okay, so this is from How Caverns. Hopefully, it, you can see that. It's not, it's just not focusing. Okay. Whatever. But anyway, so I do have the two pieces of the tail here. And um, this is actually left in Japan. So I'm going to glue this together and keep it for myself because I think he's pretty. Okay, then we have these two. Uh, they're stamped Oakland 2012 on the bottom. And it's just these two uh, little salt and pepper shakers. They're missing their uh, their little corks, though. But I thought those were cute. And then we have... I'm not quite sure what this is. This could be a candle snuffer. It's a little cat. And it has this little thing, and then it's just hollow inside. So maybe it's a candle snuffer. That would be my guess. But of course, I'm usually wrong. <laughs> um, this is why I wanted this bag. For these two, these are gorgeous, these cats. These are made in 
Japan. Wait a minute. Japan. Okay. Yep. Made in Japan. Look at these salt and pepper shakers. I love these. Turn them around for you. I absolutely love these. And this one's playing with a little ball of yarn, but they're just beautiful. I love them. There's the, on the bottom, Japan. So that's why I got the bag. But anyway, so, and the last thing, what's that? Oh, okay. It's got numbers on the bottom. There's a foil uh, sticker on the bottom, and I can't make it out, but then it, there's numbers on his one paw. Oh, it just says Japan. Isn't that a surprise? All right, so that's what was in the bag. And the last thing that I got, and really, this is the last thing from Goodwill, is this awesome hand-carved wood bowl. Oh my God, I think this is so cool. I paid regular price for this because I really, really wanted it. It was $3.49. But, you know, for something like this that's, like, quality, I don't mind paying the regular price for it. I mean, look at the handles. It's just beautiful. It's got the knots in there. I love it. So, yep. All right. That is it from the Goodwill. So... Let me put this stuff in here, move it over, and I will show you what I picked up at Fuller's today. So um, she had some really cute Easter stuff, so I grabbed a few more items. Whoa. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> I give up, guys. I just cannot get with the program. This... It's also from the Goodwill. And I only knew that because it has the blue sticker on the bottom. I paid $1.70 for this cute little guy. Okay. All right. All right. Now we'll move on to Fuller's. Picked up this cute little bunny. She looks very rustic to me. She needs to be cleaned a little bit, but I thought she was very cute. Picked up this really cute um, springtime, I would say, um, candle holder. Uh, it's got really pretty spring Easter colors, so I thought I would put, I have a, a candle this color green that I'm gonna put on here and put it in the living room somewhere to fill in some of the empty spots. Picked up this little guy here. He's very cute. He looks just like the guy back here. Whoops, where am I? Right here. <laughs> he kind of matches him. So I, that's why I picked him up. Picked up this carrot salt or pepper shaker. Uh, I thought this would look really cute over here on my stand. I have the plate with the carrots on it that I showed quite a few hauls ago and I put it out for Easter and I have a I'll show you guys anyway so this is going to go over there <laughs> all right um picked up this cute little guy he's very cute in his wheelbarrow and there's this thing sticking up here and we're not going to say what it looks like, but we're going to say what is supposed to go there is an Easter egg. Um, so I have a few Easter eggs laying around here that I'm going to put in his lap. So anyways, he was very cute. And the last three items are non-Easter. 
I picked up these two cute vintage um, little mice salt and pepper shakers. They got the holes right there. These are very cute. These are um, Anarco Japan. Uh, they're filthy. I can't wait to clean them up. Like, I'll full out grease. I can't stand that feeling. Ugh. Picked up this very cool piece. Uh, I remember my grandmother, my dad's mom, having pieces like this in her living room. And this is made by Eleanor China, made in the USA. And then I picked up this set, which um, also goes with um, the, I showed it to you guys before, um, Blue Mountain, is it Blue Mountain Pottery? It's in Canada. I have the teapot, the sugar bowl, and the creamer, and now I just found this three-piece candle set. This is for, you know, taper candles. There's this one, and then these two that go with it. And they're all that same uh, pattern, same colors, everything. So this will go in one big set. So I really like those. She, I've been eyeing this for a while, and finally today I said, oh, I'm going to grab it. So that is the haul from Fuller's. And all together at Fuller's, I spent $5.50. Now that's what I call thrifting. Not, you know, $21, but I still, I, I didn't do too badly, but I don't know. I just, every time I go in the Goodwill, I just get so irritated at the prices of stuff. I, I try so hard just to buy the half price items, but I always find stuff that I really like. And I know if I don't get it, it'll be gone. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Um, but I also would like to share some friend mail that I got today. I stopped by the post office uh, to my P.O. box. And I knew this was coming. Uh, what happened was, I, well, I don't really know what happened. When it got sent originally... For some reason, this was when I was using my daughter's um, P.O. box, they sent it back to her saying that the box was closed, which I don't understand that because it, it's not. So she was nice enough to send it back to me to my new P.O. box. So Maria, I hope you don't mind if I open this on camera. I want to thank you so, so much for this. Let me um, pull this out of the box here. Okay. She sent me a card as well. And I looked at it already. So I knew it wouldn't be anything she would mind me reading on camera. And it just says, um, Dear D, hope you enjoy the ornaments. Best wishes. Maria. Very cute card. All right. So, so Maria, did they have a sale on painting tape? <laughs> we got a lot of tape on here. She wanted to make sure that nothing happened to these ornaments. I could probably paint the whole room. I'm just teasing you, Maria. <laughs> That's the kind of person I am. I can't help myself. But anyways. Um, hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. 